guys, Chris Meets with Anywhere POD. Today I wanted to take a look at a really exciting feature with you guys for mock-up templates. This will allow you, if you have your own custom mock-ups that you want generated for any of your products, those can now be managed inside of Anywhere POD. And when you create your products, your artwork can be automatically applied to any of the mock-up templates that you create. So to get started, we're just going to come in here and go over to mock-up templates. These mock-up templates can work for any of your digital products or for your print-on-demand products. The process to create these is the same whether you're doing uh, digital or print-on-demand. So we're going to create a real quick mock-up for a digital product. And now all we need to do is upload our blank mock-up template. So here's just a little mock-up that we have of a coffee mug. We're going to go ahead and expand that to fill the entire space. Now all we need to do is upload a placeholder image for where we want the artwork to be displayed on this mock-up. So we're going to come back over here to upload. I just have a placeholder image here that is the same aspect ratio to uh, what I know my artwork is going to be for this product. And then we just want to make sure we check the box down here for art placeholder image. Uh, this tells the system that this is the image that we want replaced with our artwork when it's generating the mockups. You can add additional elements or text to this if you would like. So if you want to put on a free shipping badge or any kind of sales badge or any additional text into the mockup, uh, you can feel free to do that by adding either text or image layers as needed here and configure those as you would like. You can see we also have a opacity setting here. Uh, pretty common practice is to lower your opacity to 80%. Um, and that helps to make the mock-up look a little more uh, realistic when it's on an item that is printed. You can also use the opacity setting if you want to do a watermark on any of your mock-ups. To do that, you're just going to upload a logo or whatever image you want to use for your watermark. And again, we'll expand that to fill the area. Then you're just going to lower the opacity down so it shows up as a watermark. Another common practice is to show your company logo down in the quarter, corner of any of your mockups. Again, you can make any of those changes as you would like to brand your mockups. Now we're just going to go to save our custom mockup. If you're creating a mockup for a digital download, besides being able to swap out your PNG image, you can also have the system swap out the file types that you have available. So if you put in a text field, and check the box here for file type placeholder. This will then be replaced with any of the file types that you have uploaded that are available on your digital download product. And now if we come into any of our digital products and go to generate new mockups, you'll see we have our new mockup here that we just created. And if we select that and click on generate mockups, we can see here that our mockup was generated with our artwork. If you have any questions about how to manage your digital products with Anywhere POD, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Here's an example of a print-on-demand mockup with a little bit more customization added to it. In this case, you can see I'm adding kind of a collage of all the different colors that are available for the color accent coffee mugs. So what I did here was upload a blank mockup for each of the different colors and just labeled each one of them so that the customer, when they view the image, can see uh, in one shot all the different colors that are available. This is especially handy when listing on Etsy because Etsy only allows uh, 10 different images on a listing. So if you want to be able to show several different lifestyle mockups uh, but still have the ability to show the customer all of the different color options, this is a handy way to be able to do it. So all you need to do in here is upload each one of the colors individually, and then you can label it with a name down below. These are in here just as text. And then you want to add a placeholder image for each spot that you want your artwork to be displayed, and make sure that you mark those as a artwork placeholder image. And when we save this mockup, 
and then come into one of our print-on-demand products. If we go to generate new mockups, we can see that we have our mockup template here that we just created. So if we go ahead and select that mockup and generate the image, we can see here that our mockup is now generated with our artwork image on all of the different color options that we have available. Again, you can add your store branding or any kind of watermarks to these images that you would like. Uh, you could also use this uh, for size charts. So if you have a size chart and you want a picture of the t-shirt next to it with the actual artwork that is going to be on that t-shirt, you can do that as a branded size chart as well. If you're wondering a good place to get good blank mockups to use in your store to be able to create these, a good place to look for these actually is over on Etsy. If you come in and just do a search for print on demand mockups, or if there's a specific product that you're looking for, uh, you can search for that in here. And there's a good selection of digital products in here that you can get individual products, or oftentimes you can get a whole bundle that includes multiple different products and multiple different mock-up layouts that can work great to use in your store. The two things you wanna make sure of when you're purchasing a, a mock-up bundle, the first thing is you wanna check and make sure for licensing use that you're able to use that mock-up to sell products in your store. Most of the time if somebody's selling a digital mock-up, they realize that that's what it's being used for and that's not an issue. You also wanna make sure that any of the mock-ups are front-facing mock-ups and don't have the t-shirt at an angle facing away from you or anything like that that would require additional customizations uh, inside of Photoshop to be able to use. We hope you find this feature useful in setting your Etsy listings apart from everybody else and being able to automatically create any of your mock-ups without having to use uh, third-party software. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at support at anywherepod.com.